Hello everyone and Happy New Year to you all. We have a ton of content to cover this year and I want to aim for the stars with being one of the best of the best. So let's achieve that dream this year. Today's build is going to showcase why the Wishkeeper bow and the Mindspun Invocation aspect are two things you want to use when playing endgame content. Our build will enhance the already powerful bow into a new meta build that many Warlocks users will want to run and ultimately allow you to suspend targets one after another as long as you keep the pressure up. With this, you'll get an infinite resource of Fedling to use, infinite suspend usage, large AoE suppression for both attack and defense, and overall hecticness within the build to give a try on. To start, you're going to have Weaver's Call, where Casting Rift will produce free Fedlings and deploy any Fedlings on you. You then want Mindspun Invocation to enhance your grenade, which will be the Shackle Grenades. As you can see straight away, the options to create Fedlings on the fly is very easy, as we have a number of ways to do this. With Swarmers, this is even more easier to pull off, and this will allow our other aspect to be used with our burnt Fedlings all in one. For Fragments, Fed of Evolution allows Fedlings to travel further and deal additional damage. Fed of Rebuff allows Stun Weapons a chance to create Fedlings on kills. Fed of Generation, dealing damage generates grenade energy. And Fed of Continuity increases the duration of Suspend. As shown, we haven't gone with a full Fedling build as I wanted to try something different instead. Using Mindspun to enhance the suspend effect on your exotic will allow you to continuously spend targets one after another for each kill we get, once active. From here we can then use this moment to activate our Fredlings via our class ability and tangles and this alone will cause a lot of chaos once things start to pick up. Remember, although our bow can suspend via Weaver's Trance, so can our Fredlings, so once we get the ball rolling it becomes very easy to clear up rooms in seconds. I would say adding Thread of Mind and Wisdom is also important depending on how fast you want to get your class ability back and also gather orbs of power. However, with what I got currently, this should be more than enough to help expand the build as it is. For the modern stats, you're going to need to invest into Recovery and Discipline as top priority. Recovery at tier 10 will grant you a 48 second cooldown for using your rifts which is good for how much faster we can get it. Excluding Thread of Mind to the matter, bolstering destination and distribution should be enough to reduce the current cooldown rate to about 25 to 20 seconds once all active. Adding Thread of Mind now would also allow us to get it back even faster, but this does require the use of sacrificing a fragment as previously shown. Discipline, we have ours at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 second cooldown where you're using shackle grenades. Now, this is quite high to start with but we do have the additional mods to help ease this area. Grenade Kickstart with 4 charges should give us back a 34.4% grenade regen upon activation, which we can activate quite a bit with thanks to this Stacks on Stacks mod. We then have the Distribution and Bomber mods available, where Distribution were giving us a 4% return and Bomber a 12% return. Adding the Feather Generation as well and the following ability should always be granting you back half of energy to which we can then continuously build up via the further generation effect, etc. Now this next section covers the additional mods that play a role in the build. Charged up times 1 increases how many armor charges we can hold, while stacks and stacks increases how many charges we can collect from 1 to 2. Next having the harmonic siphon and powerful attraction mod will allow you to create and gather orbs of power at a faster rate. And lastly having the hands on mod will help again our super out quickly, although not really that much needed while the heavy ammo finder mods will be useful with dealing with much higher damage against bosses as we play. For weapons we have the Wishkeeper bow which is the first of its kind and also extremely powerful in a lot of builds currently. The free ability to build and use suspend or targets without the need of strand subclass is actually quite powerful with select setups. Using the weapon in a strand build simply allows us to improve the weapon and its core of the build even more and does allow already good builds to become godly with one small change. With Strand Warlocks who excel well in suspending and using Fedlings, it becomes a must have for Grandmaster content. For Heavy, we do have the Haze and Vengeance with Warper Weapon and Tracking. Although this does not mix with the subclass theme we are going for, the Seasonal mod allows my weapon to apply Scorch damage to targets and Easy Radiant with the right solo weapon. Now my secondary weapon is just a random sidearm that I decided to pick and is used to activate Radiant and then using that damage boost will enhance my weapon classes for even more easier damage 
give as many bosses to boss as a rule. You can go with the same thing I go with, or you can go with more of a standard threat based weaponry if you choose to. So quite possibly, this is one of the greatest Dragon Warlock combos that I think fits best for the whole class in general when you look into it more. Wishkeeper is all about suspending targets once his full charge is gathered, and using this with Strand Warlock who uses Mind Spun Invocation aspect will allow you an easy route or chain suspending targets one after another. At first, I did go in all threading loadouts as I thought this may fit best for what we are after, but then I thought using Mind Spun instead and building into the strength of the weapon even more would garner more benefits for us rather than going all in for thread links. and honestly, it was the right choice. Activating Mindspun and netting multiple suspense onto targets allows us to lock down area of control through two different methods in hand. From them, using my swarmers within the build can help with dealing with additional damage to anyone caught within my trap, and is also very handy when applied against a already stunned mini boss. From my experience, you can suspend a mini boss and champion about 3 to 4 times in a row if you activate Mindspun at the right time, activate your exotic at the right time, and then keep the mini boss stunned long enough to where our trap will get the target again before disappearing. This can be done multiple times over with little oversight, and it's great to use when you want to lock down multiple tough mini bosses all at once. However, one issue to be aware of within the build is how you can't use Mindspun effectively on bosses as it does require a kill to trigger it. Now, this isn't a bad thing since using your suspend grenades is still a wise tactic to use to stun most enemies. At the same time, our Zodic can also use this effect to stun bosses multiple times over, depending, and with their big health pool and very easy to hit crit spots, your bow won't feel too redundant in higher endgame content against bosses. Plus, you do still have access to your thread links, so outside of the Mindspun effect on other enemies, you're still doing fairly well in the boss room. It definitely has a nice appeal when enhancing an already powerful exotic to the max via a simple aspect change, and from there, building these swarms into the bow allows you to run havoc with suspended enemies without needing to be anywhere near close to the combat. I do see players saying this might be a waste of a combat to do, but I do recommend you give it a try first before exploring other methods, as it does allow you a neat and very easy way to build up two spend charges straight away with little effort. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have playlists available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.